All right, seventh grade. So we're gonna do a practice landscape and apply things like graded wash and what on what to the surfaces of this paper first, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now, before I even talk about watercolor is, I am just going to set up my my potential landscape. This should not be your best drawing. It should not be your worst drawing. It's mainly just a practice to create something similar to what we have created for our two point perspective drawings, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a horizon line. All right, so that's that uh, very late horizontal line where land and sky meet, okay? I am gonna create um, just my the start of a two point perspective structure. This is not gonna be exact. So remember with the two point perspective structure, we did a real quick vertical line that intersects with that horizon line. And then remember, we connected it to both uh, vanishing points, yeah? We cut off the building, okay, like so. And this is kind of the basis for our, our structure, okay? Um, and if you can't see it on my paper, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the lines just a little bit darker so that I have them for my, for my watercolor. I'm only tracing over the ones I need. I'm not any really adding any of the details uh, to the house right now. I'm actually going to real quick ballpark um, the roof. Okay, and then remember this goes to this finishing point and then gets cut off. Okay, so I have something that roughly looks like this. If yours looks tragic, that's okay. We're just trying to get um, the main box on here. Okay, and I'm gonna erase lines I don't need. All right, the other two things I'm gonna make sure that I add in here are um, just a tree. I'm gonna share with you how to sketch one out in just a moment, and also just some clouds in the sky, because I think a lot of students put the, that within their drawing. Okay, one line I'm gonna make sure that I keep though is my horizon line. So I'm gonna make that um, a little bit darker on either side of my structure. Okay, that's gonna be important later on. Uh, I have some clouds up here. Let's say I have a cloud over this thing. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out uh, really quickly is a tree. So a lot of times students will draw what I call a cotton candy tree. I'm gonna shift this paper over a little bit. Um, I am gonna draw one kind of here in the mid uh, middle ground. And I'm gonna start by just creating two sets of parallel lines. Oftentimes uh, tree trunks will split in two, bringing lines up on either side. And you'll see me kind of branch out some of these areas by drawing a series of V-shapes in the center of each of these shapes. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create um, a real kind of quick raggedy line for my tree canopy, my leaf canopy. And the reason why I'm doing that is I just wanna create something where I can share with you those techniques, okay? So this is what I have. I'm actually gonna make this um, just a little bit, a little bit darker. And again, this does not have to be super great because it's just a way of practicing some techniques that you'll use on your final next time. Okay. And that is dark enough for right now. Okay. All right, the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna mix some colors uh, for the following. So I'm gonna mix a blue, a green, and then also a brown. I'm gonna create those washes on my lid. And so I'm gonna go to my uh, paint palette here and I'm gonna grab a larger paintbrush. So this just happens to be a larger round brush. You can also use a flat for this, that's fine. And I'm going to add lots of water 
okay, in three different sections of my palette lid. And what I'm gonna do is drop some pigment of all three of those colors, so blue, green, and brown, into each of those sections, okay? I'm gonna downgrade at this point to just a smaller brush. I'm gonna use a smaller round for this. And I'm gonna dip this brush in my water cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tickle it in this crater just to kind of activate it. Rinsing, blotting my brush, grabbing some water, tickling it into the blue just to, just to activate it. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of water in there. I don't wanna flood that crater and a little bit in the brown, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drop pigment into each of those, okay? So I'm starting with each of these just as a regular wash. And I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times for each of these. So that was about four times for this one. So one, two, three, eh, that should be good. And then for the brown, I'm gonna do the same. Now, the less pigment you add to this, the, the lighter your wash will be, okay? So if you keep adding more and more pigment, more paint to it, it will be a pretty intense color. So all the way, already off the bat, I'm diluting my color, okay? Um, sometimes if you pull it directly from the set itself, um, directly from the set itself, it will, um, just be too Crayola looking, okay? Uh, at this point, here's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I am not going to do a flat wash. I'm gonna do a graded wash, okay, up here at the sky. So typically, it's darker. Let's say we're doing a, like a really sunny blue day, blue sky day. Uh, it's gonna be darker at the top. As it gets toward the horizon, it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. Well, how do we achieve that? Okay, we're gonna grab um, a paintbrush. I'm gonna use a larger round. And remember, I am going to add water, okay, to three quarters of the way um, from my horizon line up to the sky. I'm gonna add water. I'm just doing it in the area of the sky. So horizon line up about three quarters of the way. This is what I have. And I know you all probably can't see this too well, okay? Um, but I do have that area wet. I'm gonna grab some of my wash from my palette lid. So let me kind of scooch it down real quick. I'm gonna grab some of the blue wash from my palette lid. I'm gonna start with my most intense color at the top. Okay. And I'm gonna drag it into the water. So this is gonna make it look a little bit more natural. So from the top. Oh, that's looking cool already. It's gonna be darkest, closest to the top of your paper, uh, lighter as it comes down. And if you feel like, I feel like I made this area a little bit uh, too dark down here, I'm gonna thirsty brush it. All that means is I am blotting off my paintbrush onto a paper towel and I'm gonna suction up color and dab it off. So I just want this area a smidge lighter, okay? Um, I am going to continue on this side. And right now I have um, a sky where it's, it goes from dark to light. Um, so top is the darkest area as it gets toward the horizon lighter. Let's say you want to add, drop in a little bit more color. You can come back and do this a couple times. Um, just remember it needs to be darker here. Okay, so it's kind of a more natural looking sky there. Um, the other thing I can do is I can um, just kind of drop in toward the bottom of the cloud um, a little bit of a darker color if I want. I can even mix it with a little bit of black. Okay, 
just to kind of throw that in there. Great. Um, next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do the same thing except opposite for the ground. Okay. So oftentimes, um, you know, color in the distance is muted. Yeah. So it's going to be a little bit lighter toward the horizon line and my green for my grass is going to be more intense um, down here at the bottom. So I'm going to leave a little bit of the line because I don't want my blue and my green to blend together. And I'm going to add water here. So again, from horizon down about three quarters of the way. And again, I'm using my larger round brush. I'm making sure that I don't, oh no, I did touch it. No, if that happens, you can um, kind of blot it off with your, sorry, you can blot it off with your paper towel, right? So right now I have water added from this section of the ground down and I'm gonna go ahead and work my color from the opposite way, okay? So I'm gonna start my intense green down here at the bottom. Again, I'm grabbing the wash from my palette lid and bringing it up. Sorry, y'all, I'm going real quickly because I think my class is in the hallway. Okay, so from the drier area closest to us into the wet area. And see how it's diluting the color. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a line there. Okay. I've got about five seconds before they're out of control here. Actually, that doesn't look bad. I would like this area down here to be a little bit darker. Um, so the goal with this is that it should be a little bit uh, more intense towards you. And um, as it kind of goes towards the horizon line, it should be a little bit, um, a little bit less intense color. So lighter at the horizon, um, darker toward the edges of your paper. And hopefully next video can share with you how to add um, some color to your tree and your building.